we get into this video please take a second to subscribe to our channel what's up guys i'm diamond and i'm back with another video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video all right so if you are already an active family member on my channel you know that i have been having a hard time being consistent <laughs> Um, my last YouTube video was maybe four or five months ago. Um, I have an explanation, girl. Just listen. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, I think my last video was my weight gain journey and how I plan on, you know, finding myself and gaining self-love again. I do want to update you guys on where I am with that, but that's not what this video is. <laughs> um yeah so just expect the videos to come is an update on where i am in life the kids my job career um yeah just where i am now like it's been a whole six months and a lot has changed with me obviously you can see my hair you guys like it <laughs> yeah so that's what this video is this video is me showing you guys my new big chop. Um, like I said, I haven't had the motivation to record, but I did go ahead and I chopped my hair off again in 2000, or 2000. <laughs> I chopped, well, yeah, 2022, um, December. So December 10th, yeah, December 10th, 2022. Um, so it is like almost March. So it's almost been about three months and my hair has been thriving. Um, I'll insert some pictures at the end of this video so that you guys can see where I started compared to what I am now. But um, before I get into why I did it and you know how I'm feeling and stuff, I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see my curl pattern and just what I'm working with. yeah so this is my hair right now i haven't really done much to it other than my edges i got out the shower threw some gel in it um laid my edges uh <laughs> this has been like the easiest three months as far as hair for me um and i really really like it just because i don't have to do much um and on days like this like if i throw gel in my hair today I put my bonnet on and tomorrow I'll, it won't look like this, but all I have to do is like add a little bit of water and I already have product in my hair. So <laughs> it takes like three minutes to get it back looking like this and I'm out the door. As you guys know, I have three kids. So it's very, very convenient for me that I can just get up and not have to do anything. Um, I am on a no heat journey, a no color journey. Like this time around, I decided to really embrace my curls, actually wear them. Cause last time I big chopped, um, it was more so of, I was waiting for the length. And so my first year of my natural hair journey, um, which was like in 2013, when I first started growing my hair out natural, I did not wear my hair at all. I thought the <laughs> short hair was gonna be ugly on me. I was very insecure. Um, yeah, so I was wearing wigs and weaves and braids and anything that covered up my hair, but still allowed it to grow, basically. Um, once I hit a year, I had a little bit of length. I had a nice little bob. Um, I went to the Dominicans to get it blown out and I'm like, all right, I can do this. I can still be natural, but I don't have to wear it natural. So it's still going to grow healthy, but yeah i was i was so <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing i was following other youtubers and nobody really said like i heard about heat damage but nobody said like the severity of what it was and then i didn't even know about color damage until i actually got it so like i said this time around i'm embracing my natural curls i'm embracing my natural color um i'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like when it grows out um not gonna do any flat ironing once i get to like a nice length no flat ironing no blow drying 
I'm gonna focus on, if I do wanna wear straight hair, I'll probably just get a weave with no leave out. Um, I have learned that for my hair, I have two different curl patterns. Like my hair on the side in the back is a lot tighter. And then my curls on the top, I really, really lose. So like even on Sorry, days- guys, my camera cut out. But like I was saying, um, even on days where I actually sit and try and define my curls, like the back comes out so bomb, so effortlessly, effortlessly. But the top, I don't know what it is. Like it, I cut everything off, all my damage. I'm just assuming that, like I said, I have two different curl patterns. I have to really struggle to get these curls to be what they are. But it's all good. I'm just hoping that once it starts growing out longer, that it's not that hard. Um, and that, you know, everything just flows naturally. <laughs> but like I said, I've been really loving my um, new hair journey. It's a lot easier. It's um, less work. Uh, at first, I was going to the barbershop to get, like, lined up in the back. I had a little short, um, yeah. But I decided to just let it grow out and to let it look a little more girly. Because I always have some pictures. Um... My hair color at first looked really bro. <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you my story. I was just at work one day and I'm like, I'm so sick of this hair. Um, I'm so sick of figuring out what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna chop it off. I'm not gonna say anything to anybody. So I text my best friend. I'm like, what do you think of this hairstyle? And I sent her this picture of this girl. And she's like, oh, that's cute. That is really cute. I was thinking about cutting my hair and I'm like, all right, bet. So look, tomorrow when I get off work, I'm going to the barber shop. I'm gonna cut my hair. And she's like, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. All right. So I get off at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I actually took scissors to my own head and I started chopping. And I'm like, all right, this looks nice. But it needs, you know, a little shaping or whatever. So by this time it's like, eight o'clock barbershops open maybe nine or ten so i'm like all right i'm gonna go in the barbershop i'm gonna have them line me up in the back you know cut my sides down get me looking right so i get there i was the first client and he was like all right i got you and he, he legit gave me like an undercut in the back my sides were shaved down i had like long sideburns it was cute but it wasn't really girly <laughs> Um, and it was kind of a confidence shot, I guess. Well, shot to my confidence because I don't know. I like the length, but I really didn't like the shape of the cut because I didn't feel feminine. So for the first couple of days, I didn't wear it. Um, I slicked it down and I had a hat on. Um, and then one day I got in the shower and I washed it and I came out the shower and I'm like, yo, I look bomb. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna embrace what God gave me, the situation that I have now. People are gonna be thinking I'm stressing, like I'm sick or something, whatever. I'm just gonna embrace my now and make it me. So that's what I've been doing for the last three months, you know, playing with different products and seeing what I like in my hair and what works for me. Um, and like I said, I, it, it's taken me a while to gain my confidence back again. I feel like society puts in our head like long hair is is beautiful. Like that's what beauty is. And it's really not. Um, <laughs> I've gotten so many more, so much more compliments with my hair being short. Like the girls, they'll come up to me randomly and they'll be like, you're so pretty. Like you're freakishly pretty. And I don't know, like I like your cut. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's different for me because before when my hair was long, like I felt like, okay, yeah, I know I'm pretty. Like I have long hair, like I think I'm pretty, whatever. But um, you don't really get that many compliments because there's so many girls that look like you or like, it's just the norm. Like everybody has long straight hair or long straight weave or whatever. But going out now and I'm not 100% confident in how I feel about it. But to hear people say, oh, you look gorgeous. Like, I love your hair. Um, like, the men, my DMs are going nuts. Not interested in none of you dick. Yeah, I'm not interested. 
but um my dm has been going nuts since i got this haircut like surprisingly the men like it i thought that the men like you know the girls with the long weave that take a lid in their butt crap you know or whatever cardi so said. in my next video i'll do um i guess kind of like a length check i'm about to head out so i'm not gonna pull my hair down so you guys can see how long it is um and then go back in the bathroom and recurl it so next video i'll do like a, how i wash my hair the products that i use and a length check and i'll try and do a length check every month so you guys can see like my progression um i know a lot of you guys like those videos and i don't know like i said i'm really excited and i feel really good in myself right now i feel just good <laughs> Like, I'm on a spiritual journey right now, and the hair matches. Like, I'm going on a hair journey, a spiritual journey. Um, I feel good. But, yeah, um, I'm going to end this video here. I'm not going to make it too long. I just wanted you guys to, you know, see the new cut, know what I have going on. And, yeah, kind of apologize that I haven't posted a video in a while. But, like I said, in the next couple videos, I'll update you guys on what's been going on reason i haven't posted and all that jazz so yeah thank you for watching my video if you stuck around this long i really appreciate you guys like i said before if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so now also hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video i'll see you guys in the next